Oh, I didn't know I can do this. <laughs> I can change them. Oh, I'm gonna make mine little Pikachus. Sorry. Hello, everybody. And welcome to Pokemon Black. In the last one, we went through Pinewheel Forest and we beat up the Team Plasma and some other trainers and we made it to Castelia City. My character looks real derpy here. Um, I'm trying to think of what the first thing we should do. Yeah, as you can see on the, on the bottom bar, they're no longer in our party. Uh, Barbie Wire and Iggy are no longer with us. Not because they're dead. I just said no. <laughs> what does this guy do? Pantsier? Pantsage, Pantsier, and Pampor are Pokemon that evolve with special stones. Which Pokemon would you want to evolve? Um, well, I have a Pantsier, so... Fire stone is what you need. Now we can evolve <laughs> Barbie Wire. So you'll talk to this fan, no matter what you, like... I recommend just getting the one for your monkey, but you can get a water stone, fire stone, or leaf stone this way. Alright. What does this guy do? What are you doing, sir? Stick your thumbs up and curl in your fingers. That is a thumb pose. It means okay. In some places, it also means money. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get out of the pier. <laughs> so, I did heal my Pokemon. So, I want to head to Route 4. Because I want to get my boy. I hope it's a girl, actually. I don't know what I'm gonna name it. Uh, let's just go this way. Castilia, um... Oh, are you here to buy the dessert that everyone in Castilia City's talking about? But it looks like I got the last one. We're sold out for... Try again on a different day. Man. Those are mean. Alright, what's in here? I'm not as good as an artist as Berg, but I like making paintings. Let's see, today I want to type... I don't have a fucking ghost type shit. He gives you a different berry. I think you get to choose the berry if you bring him the type that he wants. But I don't have a ghost type. So I don't get to show that off. It changes every day, so I recommend just going in daily. Oh, there's a little guy over here. Hi, little guy. Hey, trainer. Show me your pace. Give me a swirl. All right, a fight is like a dance. Alrighty. This guy's like fucking Bon Clay. Dance to Mickey. Oh yeah, they battle with the monkeys. And this guy has a pants age. Huh. Alright. Fury Cutter. Oh my god, is there a lot? Oh, it was a credit cut. There's a lot of different items you can get here, but I want to get my little boy now. That way we can start leveling up off screen and everything. That was another critical hit, damn. My moves lack power! I just stole money from a street performer. That's nice. Alright, let's get down. How about that? Those are some smooth moves, no doubt. But it'll be even tighter if I had a group. Hey, do you want to talk to the other dancers? If you invite them both, the three of us can be a groove as a team. Yeah, sure, why not? Same outfit as me, that guy's a dancer. Alright, we'll look out for those people. Alright. Oh, oh, best item in the game. The new machine lemonade. You can also get soda pops and fresh waters here too, but lemonades are the way to go. And there's a chance that if you uh, buy an item over here, um... It's a chance every time that you buy an item that another one will drop down for free. But it's random. Buy one more. I just wish you can buy these in bulk. They kind of fix that issue in the in the next. Oh, another. <laughs> I got five lemonades now. Okay, the price of four. Uh, I am good. They kind of fix that issue in black too, because in. Well, a spoiler for the next game, but in Route 4 they have a little place 
where uh, people can set up shops. And where the shops is that like built, it's like a merchandising store. So you can basically buy things in bulk. And I love that store. Huh. I thought Bianca stopped me. I guess I was wrong. Something definitely stops me up here, right? Oh yeah, construction. They won't let me pass. But over here, I can start getting... That's some tile. Okay, the darker parts are where the Pokemon are. Okay. Again, X accuracy. I want to get my boy or, or girl, whatever. Oh, there he is! It's a girl! We got a balanced team now. We got two boys and two girls. Sandstorm kicked up. Um, it didn't seem to have Intimidate, so that means it has Moxie, which means every time you knock out a Pokemon, it knocks out a Pokemon, it ups attack, which is pretty good. Um, let's do your ground dark. Let me try Fury better. Oops. Why do I keep pausing it? I'm so sorry. I keep pressing the the pause button. Did I buy Pokeballs? Alright, let's check. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I think you look real nice in a normal Pokeball. Since the uh, orange is like a lighter version of brown. I think. <laughs> Damn it. Dude, I have been on a roll today. Mainly been like doing uh, like videos and everything. I've gotten so much done. I've um like I, I did the video for episode eight, which obviously you'll see before this one, and then I I edited that. And then I edited uh, a Wattpad book club video, which I'm very proud of. I, actually, it was the one that was uploaded on the 22nd I'm most proud of because it was just super funny to record with Coda. And then we did another one, which I, I feel like it was less funny, but I still liked it. Especially the, the thumbnail uh, Coda made. <laughs> and then joked about like, oh, for the ship, it looks like, like it's sailing towards something like... Oh, and then she she put a little extra something in there. Uh, anyway, we caught the same. <laughs> desert croc Pokemon, ground dark. They live buried in the sands of the desert. The warm, the sun warm sands prevent their body temperature from dropping. If this was a, if this was a male, I think I would have named it Croc. Because um, like after Crocodile from One Piece, but it's a girl. Hmm, I need to think of a cool nickname. Because this thing's gonna be cool as shit. It's gonna be a rough powerhouse. Look at his little tail, he's flapping. He's so, she's so cute. I don't know what to name her though. Uh, should I Google like cool uh, girl names? I'm gonna do that. Cool girl names. Okay. I want something with a bit of meaning that makes sense, because I don't want to name this thing fucking, like, Charlotte. Hmm. Cool croc names. Cute and funny crocodile names. Well, this thing is a croc, so it's obviously a crocodile. Let's see what would be best. No, I need names. Thank you. The first suggestion was Bruno, which I do like, but it's, this is a girl. So, whew. 
Why don't we name her off of a gym? Jasper seems kind of like a nice name, since it's like a ground type, and it's like the crystal gems. <laughs> Jasper seems like a good name for her. Alrighty, Jasper's now part of the party. Let's see what we're working with with her though. Let's see. Summary. Timid nature. Moxie. And it has plus speed minus... My... Why did you do that? <laughs> this can't be fast as fuck, but we gotta... Well, I guess we have Moxie, so it boosts attack every time it knocks out a Pokemon. But we need, like... Like an attack booster on you. That way we can keep the plus speed and work around the minus attack that you got. I believe here is healing. Because there's a couple trainers over here that we can deal with. Oh, this guy's out of big rock. Unfortunately, there is no grass here, so we cannot farm off of Otterno's. Let's see. We we'll probably put him in, put her in the front. I, n I know Jasper's not going to be very useful in the in the next gym since it's bug and he is she's weak against bug and whatnot. But it, it would still be nice. Not that girl because I feel like she's going to have a fucking temple. You can also get a Scraggy and you can also get Darmanitan over here as well. Uh, Darmanitan is pretty good. I'd wait until, um, Professor Juniper gives you, like, a Rage Candy. That way you can get one with, uh, Zen Mode. Which is really cool. Oh, great. Our attack's even worse now. Um. This we won't do shit. Alright, um. Fucking tie in the front. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> Shit, what was I saying? Yeah, Darmanitan is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I have used a Darmanitan in the past, so I will not be repeating that option. But it is a really good, strong fire type. And then, um, Scraggy is pretty good. It's a good fighting dark type. And since you don't have to deal with the fairy type weakness in this game, I'd say put it on your team. Um, let's do Razor Shell. Perfect. <sighs> Jasper stood there. That's good. I'm going to put little little in the front for a little. Because I need to deal with the city. I can't see up ahead because of the sandstorm. Because I can't see, I had to battle with you. What? <laughs> I am so sorry if you can hear that. I was cracking my back. I didn't think it'd be that, <laughs> that much. Simple level 18, okay. Simple is a really good option if you don't have a water type already, like you didn't pick Oshawa. Uh, water ground is super good. Mud shot? Let's not do that. Little Little is too pretty to get mud all over her. What? Oh, our speed. <laughs> We killed it. Buff at a sandstorm, yeah. And she got another one of these. Hey, at least it's not a cast form. That's what we're gonna be dealing with in like post game though. There's gonna be so many of these umbrella ladies that has <laughs> that's cast form. There we go.
The sandstorm. Why'd she spell it, though? Alright. This lady's weird. I'm gonna put Jasper on the front again. Because she needs some levels. This area would be perfect for Iggy, though, since boosts speed and sandstorms. But Iggy's not here anymore, because I got rid of him. My way of life is d dynamic. Okay. It's a weird thing to say, bro. <laughs> Gus. <laughs> I kind of want to play Stardew Valley on the PC, but my PC cannot handle everything that I have on it right now. So I need to just, like, I need to actually get my boy to build me a PC, or like, buy a shopper, like, desktop. Oh yeah, you're not gonna, no, you're not doing that. Jasper, you kinda suck right now, just to let you know. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, I, I, I'm just stating a fact. Rather roll a good one as well, but I just don't have anyone to trade with since this is a ROM. Like if I was playing if I found a way to record on the DS, I would absolutely pick up a, like a Rog and Rolla. So I can I can trade with myself and then trade it right back. But I can't do that on here. It it is a pretty good uh pretty good Pokemon, pure rock very defensive base. The final evolution does look really cool. Whoa, can you stop it? Five times? God, Kai is not doing good. Um, it has one HP, so I use Fury Cutter. Also, that's a really good thing to no do as well, is if you suspect like a rock type or a ground type or a steel has a has sturdy and like especially against like a good trainer that like will heal and everything just hit it like a little bit break the sturdy and then just one shot it with a super effective move that's what i'm gonna do right now Uh oh. Bye, Kai. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, that should kill it. Also, off screen, I gotta look up, like, when's the best time to evolve Pedigal? Because I do not know. I want it to at least have Giga Drain, because, like, in this version, if you don't, um, if you don't give it all the moves that you want it to have before evolving it, then it will just never learn moves. <laughs> so I need to make sure it has all the moves that I want it to have before it evolves. So I at least want it to have Giga Drain. I don't know if there'll be a better, like, move setup one, but... All right, I'm going to leech seed. I love doing this stuff, it's so annoying. I, I just love being annoying. My favorite trait. There we go. Good job, little little. You got 22. Stun Spore. I think that does the same thing like Sleep Powder, except it paralyzes. Which that kind of stays. That has 75% accuracy. And this also has 75% accuracy. What would be better? Well, since Pedagol has has had this had has a uh, sleep powder on it, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of it and get Sunspore instead. Because at least the paralyzed stays. 
and less healed, you know? So I'll do that. And if I don't like it, I can reteach it uh, sleep powder. It won't be the end of the world. We can sort of bypass the little construction zone they have set up. What is up here? Is there an item? Let me check. There is an item. Oh. There's a burn heal. Oh, there's more items. There's a lot of items in here. In ether. Okay. I do like the lore of this uh, route, depending on what version you play for the, the sequels and everything. Like, if you continue with Black, they they were able to take out like this whole Sandstorm Sandy area and turn it into like a nice like area for like more people that live into the city and whatnot. But they expanded the city. But in White, they discover during construction that there is like ancient ruins. So they have to stop construction because that's ancient ruins as like part of history. So they end up keeping it, and some people actually live in like the, the homes of like the relics. But the sandstorm is like still there. But but the the desert uh, resort in both games is still there, which is a pretty cool thing. I'm hoping you won't kill me. Oh, that did like nothing. Should I get? I'm gonna use Sand Tomb on it. That way at least takes, like, extra damage every turn. Alright, let's do that. I can be annoying. Oh, I forgot. I'm a dark type. Jasper! Why'd you do that? I forgot Timber was here. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, well, I guess I'll bring out Cosmo. I gotta go back to that little guy and, and heal. <laughs> oh, like... <laughs> First Kai, and now... And now this shit. Alright. Cosmo, I need you to start liking me so you can evolve. Oh, God, I turned around! <laughs> well, there's the Darmanitan. Go away. Oh, he's in the front. <laughs> That's not good. Um, I need you to run away, please. I need you to fucking use your fucking stub legs. Good. Alright. Alright. Torment. It makes the- I believe it makes the Pokemon only use attack moves, so it can't use, like, any set of move, which is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. This place is crazy. <laughs> Damn it. I don't wanna deal with Scraggy. Scraggy is pretty good though. Scraggy, Scraggy, a goat. I don't know what Scraggy is though. I love this little animation. You go, and his pants fall down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can't get away. Maybe I should just kill this thing. It's a it's a fighting type. 
doing this I'm trying to leave finally I need to get out of this desert <laughs> it's down here okay no I'm not trying to get items right now I'm trying to leave Actually, I think there's something right here. An ultra ball, okay. That's cool, okay. Let me go back and heal. It's the easiest way to get that guy's house again. There we go. And we didn't die. Like all of us, I mean, well, some of us did die. I gotta be careful of this place so my nuzzle luck. <laughs> Hopefully, my, my Pokemon will be at least like up to level. Alright. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have to leave soon, but this recording's almost over, which is fine. Okay. No, I just remembered. It's after we beat up the gym leader, Bianca will come into the terminal, we'll battle her, and then Charon's like, I see you also have a bug badge, uh, can we battle some time? There's so much stuff to do in this city before we even get to challenge the gym leader. It is, a, like, scary just how many people, like, w like, just like how many things we need to do. For instance, there's a dancer. You need something? What? You're looking for dancers for a team? That sounds interesting, but I don't want to do a favor for someone who isn't stronger than me. Hey, let's have a battle. Alright, let's begin. Alright, I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Ed Edmon. I don't think I said that right. It's okay, though. Who's in front? Is it Jasper? Oh no! <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Nuh uh. No. <laughs> little low will deal with you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try doing some training off screen to get. I'm gonna do some training off screen to get um, Jasper up to at least 20 and fix some of his moves around. Alright. I'm just gonna kill this monkey real quick. Alright. Jasper's level 16 now. Assurance. Okay. Where is that? Oh, tournament. That means that the co the person can't use the same move twice in a row, so they have to keep using different moves every turn. My footwear isn't quite sharp. Well, I would hope not. It is shoes. You're creating. A You're going to create a dance team, aren't you? That sounds really fun. I like to join up. Go down this aisle. Where did I put those glasses? What the? F <laughs> oh, I found them. You really gotta have more light when you have your way. Take this; it'll help you see in dark places. I got flash from a man in an alley behind a dumpster. <laughs> that does not sound good. <laughs> Fuse. The move flash, the accuracy of the Pokemon's moves go down. If you use it twice, the rate to get hit by a move is about half. 
because I need more light. You can also use that outside battle to get caves to be a lot lighter. <laughs> oh. What is this place? This is the place that we need to go to, right? Come on. Yes, we'll do this one the next episode. There's going to be a lot of battles there. Uh, off screen, I'm going to deal with the trainers in Pinwheel Forest and get Jasper up to the date, you know? I'm going to go in here and my Pokemon. Jasper tried his best. She tried, she tried, she tried, she tried. Hooray! Thank you for waiting. You surge your Pokemon to full health. Alright. I'm gonna go end in front of the battle thing. That way it's at least different from where we started. <laughs> Alrighty. So we went to Route 4. We got a new party member. We beat some... Yeah, most of the trainers. We didn't do the fishermen down by the lake. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> and we got some of the those dance members up to date. So in the next one... We'll head into this tower right here and battle through and get the XP share and we'll hopefully find that last dancer and see what else Castilia City has to offer us. Alright. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye!